Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this quick and easy purple eye look. Sure, we'll go with that. So when I started this video, I didn't realize I didn't press record. So I just did like one step without you guys, but I will go ahead and explain it um, before I move on. But also, I feel the need to let you know that I already have my foundation, concealer, and powder on, and also my brows on when I start the video. So this tutorial is really only going to be like eyes, and then I do show you guys like bronzer, blush, lipstick, highlight, all that good stuff. So yeah, without further ado... Let's get started. So the first step I did was to put my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil on and then I just went ahead and blended it out with my finger. And now I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Electric palette and take that deep purple shade and go ahead and pack that all over the lid. So once I get that where I want it, I'm just going to go ahead and take the same blending brush I used on my previous eye and blend out the crease. Then I'm going to grab some more product and I mix the pink and orange from the palette and I go ahead and blend that into the crease. And then when less product is on the brush, I take it up a little bit higher. Now I'm going to do a wing with my Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. And I'm going to go into my Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette and take that shade called Bone and use that as my brow bone highlight. And I'm also going to use it to kind of diffuse the pink and purple out a little bit more as it comes up. Now I'm going to take the pink and purple from the Kat Von D Palette and go ahead and run that along my lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with my ColourPop eyeliner. And then I'm going to go ahead into that Ico mascara that I got from my Ipsy bag. But I actually ended up doing two coats of this on my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm going to go into my Becca Ski Palette and take that center iridescent shade and use that as a inner corner highlight. And here I'm just saying that foundation and powder concealer is already done. So I'm going to go ahead into my bronzer, which I'm using my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm just using that ashier tint that I pointed to, and I'm going to contour my cheeks. For blush, I'm using my Wet n Wild blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink, and I'm just using that to rosy up the cheeks. Now I'm just taking a duo fiber brush and blending everything out. For a highlight, I'm going to go into that pinky shade from the Becca Ski Palette and go ahead and highlight the tops of my cheekbones. So to be a little extra, I'm taking that center shade and applying it right to the very tops of my cheekbones to add just a little extra highlight. To finish everything off, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs lipstick in the shade Slow Burn and using that as my lipstick. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. The lips are a little off, I feel, but I could sit here for literally 10,000 years and not get the right lipstick shade that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to leave it be because I think it looks okay. I would just prefer something a little more nude, I think, just because the eyes are so bold. But... I think overall this makeup look looks really nice. It's really simple to recreate and you could pretty much do this with any color. It doesn't have to be like purples and pinks. It could be blues, greens, oranges, yellows, browns, blacks, like really whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. So yeah, that's everything I have for you guys. Thanks again for stopping by my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!